like a hell cut. Before we get started, I have a favor. If you enjoy my content and want to see me continue to improve in both quality and size, please check out my Patreon linked in the description. Any amount helps and it is greatly appreciated. There are so many rewards for each level of donation, so go check it out. Now back to the video. Hey everybody, this is Mantle Adventure. Welcome to the uh, official patch notes for uh, uh, Crimson Heist. Um, in addition to some test server test notes for stuff that's going to be in the test server, but might not officially make it to the actual live season. Um, I can go ahead and go over those. Um, it's just a knock, a uh, knock, knock, whatever rework. Uh, that basically makes it to where whenever she has her hail device activated, she's also immune to proximity-based gadgets. So, Grismot, Capcan, and stuff like that. Uh, probably not Frost Trap, but <clears throat> it's just making her stronger, giving her more of a buff. So, make her more useful against traps like that. So, I think that's going to be a good idea. Uh, I think it'll be good for her. Um, her device's color will change whenever she's under the, within the proximity of one of those. So, um, as soon as I can, I might go test it out to show you that. I'll, I'll be more on top of showcasing the reworks once they are actually added, uh, since there are several coming across the next few seasons, uh, across the whole of the year. So, yeah. Well, let's go ahead and get into this one, the Crimson Heist. Kicking off 2021, all of us at Rainbow Six Siege are proud to introduce Crimson Heist, a season that gears up players for the ultimate heist. A new operation is, um... A new operator is joining our ranks. The sly and tactical Flores, an attacker from Argentina who knows how to mix uh, precision and passion. He brings the RCE Rateo Charge, a remote controlled charge with a timed explosion that sneaks up um, on unsuspecting opponents. Crimson Heist is an action packed season that offers reworks uh, to border and to newcomer playlist, a secondary weapon, and plenty of other exciting additions. Are you ready to uh, to get the stash? Keep reading the patch notes below to discover more. We're talking about floors. We already have a lot of floors dealt with, <clears throat> but he does have um, the uh, AR-33, assault rifle, and SR-25, which is a... I don't want to say it's a DMR without thinking it's a DMR. It's either a DMR or a weird-looking shotgun. I mean, then again, I thought Finca's shotgun was an assault rifle, so who knows? Because <laughs> it just looked like a assault rifle at first glance. And he can bring a stun grenade or a claymore. He's two-speed, two-armor, like most. Um, Mirrors comment, uh, with a remote-controlled function, this device uh, counterbalances the usual uh, unpredictability of an explosion in a, dare I say, refreshing way. And of course, we can show off this one. Just showing it rolling in there so it's basically just wider than a drone wider and longer than drones so it's as tall as a drone but it's wider and longer than a drone and it explodes pretty neat um that's basically all with him uh, we've already gone over him in another video uh map rework to border border's been reworked to improve gameplay and quality of life for players first floor bathroom has been expanded to provide a soft wall between uh uh, first floor bathroom and first floor, uh, first floor tellers bomb site, and the second floor archives bomb site has been extended into the offices on the second floor. In addition, an interior balcony has been con uh, is now connecting uh, east stairs to uh, second floor uh, break room, and a new exterior staircase leads to the second floor archives balcony. New secondary weapon, the uh, Goni Six. A new secondary weapon has been added uh, at, added to some attackers' loadouts. Um, it's modern day. It's modern day hand cannon. It's just an explo uh, explosive projectile that detonates on impact, surfaces and destroys bulletproof gadgets. The name is uh, derived from handgun, a term that has been used throughout history to refer to hand cannons. Interesting. I like it. <laughs> Um, the map replay system, or map, match replay system is uh, having a beta. Um, we've already talked about that, but it's basically giving us an uh, at-home experience of the uh, replay system, so hopefully it will come in later seasons. 
Newcomer playlist has been reworked. Newcomer uh, map pool now features five iconic siege maps, Coastline, Oregon, Cafe, uh, Bank, and Clubhouse, plus one seasonal map that will rotate each season. Each newcomer map will have two possible bomb site locations, and each will feature the same bomb site for all rounds, allowing players to familiarize themselves uh, with most sites. Pretty cool. Not useful for me, because of course... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a newcomer. Um, drone proximity awareness. If a drone, if an attacker drone is near Mozzie's pest, I think this is mainly for Flora's sake. Um, an icon will appear that will pulse at different speeds depending on the drone's proximity to the pest. Attackers, uh, can use this new information to rethink their, uh, drone strategies when the pest is near. I wonder, does Mozzie gain control of the drone? Um... Or what happens? Is it disarm it? I have no idea. <laughs> really funny if it just loses all its capabilities and just becomes a regular drone. Um, disabled state for electronic gadgets. Uh, when disabled by mute, the necessary disabled state feedback will now appear on attacker drones. Breach charges, Habana's Xkyros, fused cluster charges, thermite, uh, exothermic charge, and Zero's Argus cameras. In addition, Claymore and Nomad uh, air jabs can now be disabled and we'll have the proper feedback. So it's a buff to mute, uh, a visual nerf, but a mechanical buff. Or, eh, it's kind of just a quality of life visual thing. I said it was a nerf, but I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, price reduction for operators, seasonal event skin, operator balancing. So here's where we're, here's where we're actually needing. So mute, uh, his uh, mute jammers now can take out, or now can disable uh, claymores and air jabs. Uh, added a disabled state for the gadgets that were missing it. Mozzie, warning icon appears. Pests. Blackbeard, reducing Blackbeard's rifle uh, shield HP to 20 from 50. Ooh, wow. It's literally going to tank one shot. Oh, that's actually good. That's actually really good. It tanks one shot. So as long as you have a follow-up, Blackbeard won't counter you. But if you're one of those people that's like, I'm gonna, I, if I, I, I know as soon as the guy peeks around the corner, I'll fire this one shot, they're dead. If you're not prepared to fire a second shot, Blackbeard will get a drop on you. Uh, reduce the MK17 damage from uh, to 40, now from the previous 49. It's good, I guess. Dokubi, uh, stun grenades, uh, replacing frag grenades, and she has the uh, Goni 6, um, replacing one of her secondary. So since she's getting an explosive, she's losing it in her gadget. Binka. Oh, no! I want. I know I need her frag grenades! No! Dang it! Okay, well, Finka's losing her frags and getting stuns, and she's getting the new sidearm, replacing one of her sidearms. Uh, I don't know which one this is. I don't use pistols, so I really don't know. Um, Twitch, she's getting smoke grenades, replacing her stun grenades. Um, are those the only two operators getting it? Uh, there has to be more operators getting it. Um, Callie increasing the uh, C, uh, CSRX 300 damage to 127 from their previous 122. Interesting. And then the uh, G36 recoil, uh, this has been improved. <laughs> Just improved recoil for this weapon. How? <laughs> what did you do? Um, game balancing, diffuser priority. Now uh, the diffuser, whenever no one selects it, it will go to people that aren't like, it, it will go to, it will be role specific. People that will be the ones that will go onto site will have it. The other ones like Ash that would be out of the way aren't the ones that will have it automatically put onto them. Um, on PC, activating or equipping a gadget will no longer force you to unlane. That's good. Situations, progression uh, locks have been added to situations. Difficulties, uh, and difficulty of normal and hard situations is reduced. Weapon attachments have been adjusted. Uh, other quality of life changes have been made. All right, player comfort. Um, playlist parameter coherence. We've made a few changes to newcomer. Okay, we've already talked about that. Streamer mode. Streamer mode uh, uh, preferences have been added to the options menu. Streamers <clears throat> can hide personal info on their screen from viewers and enable a hidden matchmaking delay. That's interesting, actually. Uh, prevent... Uh, prevents queue sniping when players taunt or kill streamers after deliberately queuing at the same time as them. Uh, prevents stream sniping uh, when players intentionally display disruptive behaviors during another stream uh, player's stream. So basically, what this is going to do is it's one going to prevent people from being able to find you. Um, 
I don't know what the matchmaking delay is. It's probably prevents you from like if you were going to you're watching a streamer and you go to queue at the same time that they do. It, it actually has them at a different timing. Maybe it's like a soft priority queue, possibly something like that, or maybe the opposite. It's the opposite of a priority queue. It kind of puts you a little bit at the behind to protect you. I don't know. That's quite interesting, though. Um, all in all, uh, stream delays do deal with that, but stream delays can remove your ability to interact with your people. So I like that. Um, cap can improve the deployment of uh, cap can's entry denial device, make it feel more intuitive and reliable. I play Capcan a lot, so I have to try that out. ADS Toggle. Um, players using the ADS Toggle option are no longer forced back into ADS after performing an action that puts them out of it. So if you have a where you just click, instead of holding to scope, and you do an action, um, you'll immediately go back into scope after that action instead of having to reactivate it. It's pretty cool. Spectator Mode. Added um, multi-kits feedback and team loadouts. Okay. For spectators um, achievements and trophies the titles of some achievements and trophies have been updated huh okay game health Xbox local game modes uh, voice actors voice actors for IQ and capital have been re-recorded with new voice actors so IQ and capital have changed we are thankful for the voice oh so they're just updating it because uh, the road the SI stuff and stuff like that uh, red pink support support line alibi and jackals red spring a uh, red ping in replay interesting um remove the ubisoft connect daily challenges the tile with the trophy icon in the uh, in the home section will uh section now redirects to battle pass challenges okay uh map rotations move uh, remove map rotations from quick match good good i like it i like it Incre to increase variety, all maps except Bartlett U? What is that? Are now include. What is Bartlett? What is Bartlett? Is that the, uh, um, T Hunt exclusive one, I think? I think that's what it is. I don't know. But yeah, that's basically all it is. I also talked about the knock rework as well. So yeah, uh, as soon as I can get my hands on all these changes, I'm not sure whenever this stuff is going to the test server. It might be there now. Um, but if it is, I'll just do that for you guys tomorrow. I'm not gonna put this would be it'd be five videos if I did that. So no, um, if it's on the test server, I'll deal with that uh, tomorrow. But what do you guys think? Feel free to tell me your opinions in the comment section down below. As always, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Follow my socials. Keep it up. Channel, go to Discord, join the conversation Patreon if you feel like supporting me. This is Matthew Avenger. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Peace out.